two. Today, I'll be interviewing John Inverretti. Um I have seen his um, with Michael Lozier. We're always doing um video on uh, the emotion code. That's why I got interested in it too. Um, can you introduce to yourself, uh, to the audience, please, of who you are? Absolutely. Hi, yes, my name is John Inverarity. Great to be here, Johnny. Uh, I'm a certified emotion code and certified body code practitioner. And I live in Vancouver, Canada, but I, I work with people all over the world uh, via video call like this or Skype or Zoom or over the phone. And yeah, I help people reduce uh, fatigue, chronic pain, and anxiety, stress, depression, and increasing energy, motivation, increasing prosperity, clarity, and some uh, and physical health as well. Okay, thank you so much for the uh, uh, intro. Uh, before we begin the uh, question, I like your name. I never uh, your last name. I never hear it before. Uh, can you tell about, uh, us about your unique name, you know, Inverarity? Yeah, Inverarity. It is qu somewhat rare, and it uh, it's actually Scottish. So it's uh, Scottish background, heritage, ancestry. And I've never been to Scotland, so I can't say I'm Scottish. I'm Canadian. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a somewhat rare name. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. How did you get into, you know, uh, can you tell us about how did you get into the uh, body code or the emotion code? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I was, uh, had a fairly, uh, well, I had a full-time job and it was, uh, created a lot of stress for me and, uh, and the pain started showing up. So uh, I had pain in my wrists, so both wrists and elbows, so both sides of both elbows as well. So I had like the golfer's elbow, the tennis elbow, and tendonitis in the wrists. So literally lost function of my hands and arms. And uh, with physical pain, you know, what comes along with that is, you know, emotions and feeling down and out. And that was me. And so I just didn't go to work one day called in sick to my full-time job career that i've been with for uh, i was 13 years at the time and that never went back <laughs> and uh and one day um about i was i was off that that, that job for um over a year and um, but about three months into it i, I got this book the emotion code it was my my wife's mom uh, that gave it to me. So she threw me this book and said, here, try it out, see how it works. So she introduced it to me and I read it. Uh, and I've never read a, a book so fast in my life. And um, I was hooked. I was in, I knew this was for me. This is working. So, um, you know, worked with a practitioner to help me with my aches and pains, signed up for certification. And here we are five years later. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, I think you also, because I checked one of your Instagram, you also meet with the author too, right? Because you have. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really exciting. It was, he's like a celebrity when I meet him, right? I was like, like a like a kid. It was a great night. So he came to Vancouver for a um, like a, a a business coaching kind of seminar that was put on through uh, another uh, like a business coach. So I found out, went to it, obviously, and yeah, met Dr. Brad in Vancouver. He came here. So I had a brief chat with him um, during the conference, got a quick picture that you saw on Instagram. And then he actually gave me a cell phone number and said, hey, going for dinner uh, with, with the team, with the host. And you know what? Call me later or text me later and we'll meet up tonight. So... We just sat around waiting downtown Vancouver. Um, you know, hey, Dr. Brad, where are you? It was late and late and late and getting later. And it was like probably like 10 o'clock at night, 1030. Just like, okay, so he's busy. Hopped in a cab, went home. And, well, I didn't get home. Um, <laughs> I got about four blocks from my home. And he texts me. I'm just like, no way. He's like, John, what are you doing? I was like, all right, cabbie turn this thing around 
uh, bring me back downtown. So I went downtown and met him at the restaurant. So we're standing, hanging around the restaurant and just, you know, chatting, small talk. And then he said, Hey, let's continue on. Let's, uh, jump in this cab with me. We'll go back to, uh, the hotel. So I jumped in a cab with him and like three other of the speakers that were there and went back to his hotel. So we're sitting in the lobby and we just talked for like an hour, told me great stories of, you know, what inspires him and, um, what got him into it. And yeah, it was, it was amazing. Unforgettable. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask you. How did you feel? But yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Thank you. Yeah. The, Oh yeah. Before we want to, um, was it, uh, your first book that you read or are there others books that you have read like in the self-help oh self-help um no i think there was what got me into it what was one of the first ones louise al hay wayne wayne um dyer yeah those were the first ones yeah heal your life and um yeah, what was the Wayne Dwyer? He's got a few, but yeah, Wayne and, and uh, Louise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is um, for the viewers? What is the body code, and how can we benefit from it? Yes. Yeah, so the the body code is is the more advanced system. So it's also by Dr. Bradley Nelson. So Dr. Brad, we'll start with the emotion code. So the emotion code's a book, and it's uh, an energy healing modality. And it's very simple. So we have an emotion code chart, two columns, six rows, and these are trapped emotions. And so trapped emotions are unprocessed emotions from past negative events. So um, there's a huge list of them and there's a process to find these emotions and clear them out. So these, these trapped emotions uh, are what's contributing to your, your chronic pain, your shoulder pain, your neck pain, right? You know how people say they like hold stress in their neck? or maybe an event in the past, um, shape them. Um, that's these trapped emotions. So we find these trapped emotions and, and clear them and people begin to heal. So ultimately your body is able to heal on its own. So once we find those blocks to what's um, blocking you from healing, um, your body can heal on its own. So the benefits is, yeah, more clarity, prosperity. Like if you don't have um, money, money, lack of money, scarcity, um, that's a symptom. So people can benefit that way of, you know, attracting more clients or, um, just unknown sources of money, more luck. Um, people can benefit from, you know, increased physical health. So, you know, shoulder pain from, um, years back, decades back, I can, you know, start healing from that. Um, even mental health stuff, anxiety, depression, huge. I work with so many people. So he's, um it's like a weight's been lifted off you know uh once we after a few sessions or even sometimes one session yeah okay so you're saying like we have this trap emotion but somewhere in our body whatever that's aching and the, how many or i wouldn't say how many sessions would it like how would like when you like talk to an individual how would you like um uh, get rid of well not um, let the body heal uh, how, how would you like go the process of doing that how do you go through it so yeah there's a a um yeah basically a set of keys that um that michael Ozier has um, has developed and he just breaks it down so simply right you know how well he does that with his book law of attraction and so yeah there's like a specific process where we identify these these trapped emotions and other imbalances so um the original question of the body code i'll just touch on that it's a more advanced system and it's all about identifying imbalances and in clearing imbalances that's preventing your body from healing so it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of imbalances and the emotion code is in the body code um but the emotion code is just much more simpler and so it's the same process um to when i'm working with people and um yeah essentially i make an energetic connection with people so and i act as a proxy on their behalf and so i it's it's a distance healing actually so um well first things first we need the chart right the emotion code chart and when working with people 
um, um, actually need, need their permission, right? So I need, there has to be an agreement that, you know, I'm going to work with you, Johnny. And so you're going to let me know um, by telling me or booking a session. So I can't just, you know, help out my neighbor who I think needs help, right? Just because I, I think it's in their best interest, right? It'd be an invasion of privacy. So we don't do that. So that, that's one of the keys as well. And uh, we use muscle testing. So we have this chart and we use muscle testing. And which is a form of applied kinesiology. And some people like do the ring and ring method. There's lots of videos on, on YouTube here, uh, muscle testing. And uh, what that is, is it allows us to uh, communicate with our subconscious mind. So uh, the subconscious mind, it knows everything that we've done, everything that we've eaten, um, smelled, um, everything we've seen, every experience we've gone through. And the subconscious is... I don't know, what is it, like a million times more powerful than the conscious mind? I'm not too sure what the number is, but just the amount of like information, the bits going through the your, your brain, your conscious is is very limited, right? It's it's somewhat slow. Uh, but, you know, it's good for, um, you know, maybe like writing essays or, or writing a song or something like that. But it's the subconscious that is really where all the harnesses, all that power and all that information. So we're finding these trapped emotions or unprocessed emotions from past negative events um, by muscle testing through the subconscious mind. So we have to identify it. So we have to like surface what it is that's creating that specific symptom for you, whatever it may be, if it's, you know, health concerns or wealth concerns or, you know, love relationships and blocks or concerns. Uh, whatever it may be, um, we have to surface that. And then once we surface that, it's with uh, intention. And we actually use magnets, simple magnets. And I have a couple here. And any refrigerator magnet will do. And that amplifies uh, my intention to clear that trapped emotion. So it's kind of like surfacing this little, you know, maybe a little rock on the bottom of the ocean. Surface that to this, uh, up to the surface. And with the magnet, we, wipe it, we swipe it over the governing meridian. And that clears out the trapped emotion. So that amplifies our intention to clear the trapped emotion. And yeah, it happens really quickly. Some people notice it right away. And during the session, pain decreases. And other times it may take a few sessions and um, you know, process over a few days or a few weeks, depending on the person. Yeah. Okay. Um, it seemed like, because um, you know, I interview many people and it seemed like, it seems like our body has this magnificent you know, power within us to be able to heal, right? Um, like, uh, you probably heard, because I was uh, trying to connect the dots where um, it's almost like as if you, you probably heard of Qigong, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you probably heard of Reiki, because yes. I, and, yeah, um, and uh, I, I feel like, um, you know, I think the Westerner, they don't believe in that, right? Because, you know, it's about... Eastern, um, they believe that long time ago. Like you, you, you probably heard Tai Chi, right? Because um, I'm trying to connect the dots. Because I interviewed Tai Chi master, but I'm trying to keep going on that. And it seemed like, because the world around us is like a. Um, uh, you seen the Matrix? Oh yeah, absolutely. Do with the world, I know how that. Um, so basically, um, it seemed like you don't like the how the i don't know if you don't like the your, you you don't like your job right like the you know the corporate world right right yeah yeah, yeah. it was it was yeah. good while it lasted but yeah it's yeah, uh, distant memory now yeah that's, that's what i was trying to get because you know um the whole you know workers i don't know are you when you were a kid were um you went to you know high school or you graduated from like yeah. college you did um okay just what my uh thing is i want to you know impact the special education right because i think that the world uh the uh, american system or the school system is broken because these school system is built for you know for workers to build on someone on stream but you understand that right 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 so it seemed that for you know what you do with you know body code and emotion code it seems like it's also connected with the law of attraction. Oh, very much. Can you explain that how to the audience that, because I have a few of uh, audience for the law of attraction. Can you explain that? Absolutely. Yeah. 
So yeah, when I go into the emotion code and, and self-help, uh, also, um, law of attraction showed up. I didn't really know about law of attraction until like later on in my life after the, the corporate job, right? I didn't know it was working for me with, with, with me, <laughs> whether I liked it or not. Um, but yeah, it, the emotion code really goes hand in hand with the law of attraction. So, um, law of attraction is, um, you know, identify your desires and really get clear on that. Right. So just, you know, that first step, you know, you can't get clear you know why is that okay so why can't i get, have that clarity of you know what i want or what i want to do or what i want to manifest you can do emotion code with that and say okay so is there something blocking me from uh, my divine guidance is there something blocking me from following my heart is there block something blocking my intuition start with that really simply just three questions there do some emotion code on that you know people see clear like physically see clear things are brighter lighter they have uh more like um more in the moment more peace more calmness uh within them and in the moment which i absolutely love as well so instead of you know worrying about the future or um you know uh, the past it's you know you can focus on the now and really you know enjoy yourself that way so you know yeah use emotion code to get clear on what you want you can also use it on um uh on the allowing part as well so just you know letting it in let it come in is there something creating resistance from you uh just you know allowing that that relationship to come to you or allowing that perfect job or that perfect interviewee from coming to you is there something in the way something something stopping or creating resistance that way do emotion code absolutely you can do it like like yeah you could do it every every day if you wanted to and uh yeah so it, it's hand in hand with law of attraction yeah yeah it seemed like you uh thank you uh, it seemed like you really do enjoy doing this like uh when i see you on video you love like enjoy it oh absolutely yeah it's my passion so yeah yeah, yeah it's a great great story i mean yeah it 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 really hurt um for me to find this it was a lot of you know pain and and um, just low vibrational emotions, depression, sadness for a long time. But, you know, I went through that, f found my, you know, my passion and came up and, you know, the, the butterfly came out. So I absolutely love it. And then with Michael as well, that was, you know, law of attraction. He needed, um, he needed me, I needed him. And, you know, now we're, um, we're doing tons of emotion code. We're doing live videos, we're the emotion code bros. You know, business is good. We're helping a lot of people. And yeah, um, yeah, absolutely loving it, thriving. Yeah. Um, can you um, can you tell the story how um, it, uh, what you do help uh, Michael Lozier? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He says this again and again. Yeah. So he came to me because he had a limp and he saw the, the chiros, the massage, rubs, the lotions, the potions, the pills, right? He tried that for years and years. And, um, you know, he got better short term, you know, but it was still there, right? And he's on stage all the time, speaking in front of thousands of people. And you can't be limping uh, across the stage, especially for him. I don't know if you've seen him on stage. He moves pretty quick, right? So he came to me, he called up me and said, yeah, let's do some emotion code, body code. And so worked on him, worked on these goals for him to you know get his uh, physical health uh up there a little bit better so it was like one or two sessions uh and uh yeah he was doing cartwheels across the stage yeah uh, when you said that like that <laughs> he said, um yeah well, you have your the um, your website name is very unique or the alive and pure can you explain yeah. that alive and pure yeah it's really, uh, um, it stand out for me when I see it stand out. Can you explain that to the audience? Absolutely, yeah, alive and pure. So I got it written behind me here, got my little poster. And yeah, that's what it means to me. That's what I want to feel. That's how I want to feel. I want to feel alive, uh, that, that vigor. And, um, you know, just waking up every day, feeling really, really good and and pure, just that, that pure essence of, of who we are, just, um, yeah, that's, that's what I want for myself. That's what I want for other people, for everyone. 
I think that's how we should be living. Just, um, yeah, that's yeah. what it means. Thank you. Um, I guess yeah. well, uh, what that meaning is really resonate with, like, I, I believe that people start to um, die inside a, a, a earlier age, you know, you, they were told that they have to do this certain type of thing and get trapped. Whether they do the thing that they love or not, if they don't do it, they start to die. They don't feel alive. You feel alive when you do the thing that um, uplift you, right, and make you much more happier. And my message is for people is find with your uh, – that make you alive, right? And, yeah. Wow. I feel like you, 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 you feel like you're much more alive than when you were at your job, right? at your job right absolutely yeah 100 yeah. percent. exactly um did you have any uh because i also want to talk about fear did you did you have any fear or did you and how did you overcome fear for those people uh, who want to know yeah absolutely so a lot of fear i've actually like yeah leaving my job and, and doing this full time huge huge amounts of fear and um yeah it was a process to leave leave the um the full-time job that steady income and basically going out on my own and being self-employed a lot of fear of that like it's um yeah it definitely wasn't easy and basically yeah i just had to just take the leap and just did it and just left and just without knowing that um, it's going to work out and there's no plan B. So, oh. yeah, that's how I did it. Take the net, take the leap and the net will appear. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I have the same philosophy too, where you take the leap of faith. And I was yeah. like, because, um, you know, some people would like kind of like move there, you know, but you just like jump out and wow, that's incredible. That's, yeah. that's pretty. Thank you. Um, what is your passion in life and what you love to do? Um, or yeah. Passion in life is, you know, it's my lifestyle. I just, I just love doing this work for other people. And, you know, I work from home. I absolutely love that. I live in a beautiful city and I live in Vancouver, Canada. It's one of the most beautiful cities on the planet in my opinion and a lot of other people agree with that too and you know I, I live like 10 minute walk from from the beach and the ocean right so you know just the lifestyle i have a beautiful wife loving wife and she's my passion as well and she supports me i support her and yeah we have absolutely great lives and um you know we have a great adventure right now as well so um yeah that's that's my passion my my wife and um my life <laughs> yeah, thank you so much uh, yeah how how do because i also want to know about um working from home too uh does it give you for you um uh working from home it give you the flexibility or freedom or how did it f uh, feel when working from home yeah absolutely love it yeah there is a ton of freedom yeah time freedom and get a full schedule, you have financial freedom. And so if I want to take a weekend off, I'd, you know, I just, uh, if I want to go somewhere and visit my family, you know, I, I can do that. You know, if I want to take two weeks off and, and go to Bali, I, I can do that, right? And, um, you know, this, this distance work too, it means I, I can work on anyone in the, in the world um, at any time as well. So I can take my business work with me wherever i go just need the computer or a phone and um yeah that's that's freedom and you know having again a loving partner to, to support you and you know go on the journey with you and that's freedom absolutely yeah thank you so much um okay how do you define winning for you winning yes <laughs> Okay. Well, the reason why I asked that because you know I never, 
for me, I'm not as competitive. I'm not really, um, cause I see, uh, there's a lot of, um, uh, people who are in the spiritual world. They don't like competition. They think it's competition, but my message for people isn't about like competition. It's, it's how you feel. Right. Yeah. Winning. Absolutely. Winning and competition, you know, competition is good competition. You know, it brings up new ideas and you know, keeps people advancing. Absolutely. People just get the it's competition is part of the evolution of, of the human species of just, you know, getting better and better and better. And, um, yeah, living better lives. So, uh, winning to do that to me, um, I guess having all your needs met, having feeling fulfilled and having, you know, an abundance of, of health where you are healthy enough where you can help others and have other ideas uh, to help others with their health and having an abundance of, of love in your life, uh, with having a loving partner, loving family and where, you know, you can, you know, love yourself and, and love others and, and share that with other people as well. And, um, and having an abundance of money as well helps too. I think that's winning. Um, Having enough money where you can, you know, help out someone, you know, go for lunch, buy a friend lunch because, you know, maybe they can't. Um, simple as that. Yeah. Abundance, health, wealth, and love. That is winning. <laughs> okay. Thank you. How Before that, uh, how can we train or, or take the on-block emotion? Because you always talk about in the, um, the previous you know, talk that we have, you always talk about money and abundance. Mm. How can um, people release that and to attract or to, you know, uh, get abundance or attract the money into their life? Uh, well, with law of attraction, you need to set, um, identify, you know, how you do want the money, how it's going to come to you. Uh, you do have to have those, you know, those thoughts, those roads in place and really just get clear on, um, you know, the amount of money you want, what you're going to do with it. And, you know, the emotion code is the subconscious knows what's creating that block, you know, what's blocking you from attracting three clients a week, or if it's, you know, a hundred clients a week, whatever the number may be, um, you know, or if it's, you know, different, um, sources of money too. Um, but for, for me, you know, I, I'm helping entrepreneurs, you know, clients or, um, maybe getting a book deal or something like that. Um, maybe getting more, um, <clears throat> Uh, visibility, you know, you can do emotion code to be helpful with your visibility as well. So getting clear on that, um, it really helps, you know, open the doors. Mm, so, oh, okay. So basically it's almost like when you clear the path of your emotion, it opens a gateway for like great things to come. Absolutely. So these, these are all low vibrational emotions, right? Everything on this chart. This is motion code chart by Dr. Brad. So, you know, have you anger, frustration, depression, sadness. Oh. They're all low, low vibrational energies down at the bottom of the scale, oh. right? Or the spectrum. So at the top of the spectrum is that, that love, that joy, enlightenment. So once you clear out that heavy energies, you know, your lighter energy, and then you fall on the line and, and, and fall in harmony or attract higher vibrational energies as well. So as an energetic being is who we are. You know, you clear out the low and you're, um, you know, attract more of what you want and, and less of what you don't want. And it's, it's just getting in that harmony with that vibration. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, one more. Um, what does, uh, uh, it's almost the same, but it's kind of different. What does success look like to you? Because, you know, um, for most of, I think for people, they never, or for I, you know, I never seen what success looked like. That's why I ask and I never see what's winning. You know, so often that, people get trapped about, I mean, whether it's good or bad, but you know, we're, con we are have the expectation of others, you know, like when you go through school, uh, you know, teachers and society expect you, uh, you do this certain way, right? A rule and that they expect you to set this type of goal for yourself, but that does not make you really happy. So what's success look like for you? Yeah, uh, being happy, or I think it all comes from self-love, uh, that, that ability to love yourself unconditionally. Um, you know, if you wake up in the morning and, you know, you don't like yourself or the way you look or, um, you know, your job or your relationship. Um, yeah, I think that's, 
that's not how you should be living your life. And I wouldn't say that's uh, success. I think if you wake up, you love yourself. Um, you know, you love your life and you're grateful for what you have. Uh, I think that's true success. Mm, okay. Thank you so much for that. Where can we find you online or where can we find you? Absolutely. Yeah, my website is aliveandpeer.com. So it's yeah, written behind me. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, yeah. aliveandpeer.com. Okay. Um, thank you so much for doing this interview. I'm so grateful for that. Um, and I hope that you have an amazing business because I, I, I love the seeing you watching you do video with uh, uh, Michael Wolsey. Keep up the great work. It's really great. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, pleasure. It's uh, great to do this interview with you. And yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, no problem. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.